Behind me is the entrance to the Greenwich Foot Tunnel in South London. It's your standard start of the 20th century foot tunnel. Stairs or a lift down, under the river, stairs or a lift back up. There's quite a few of these left in the world. But about 10 years after this was built, a German engineer thought, what if we go bigger? This is the St Pauli Elbe Tunnel in Hamburg, Germany. Much the same, go in, take a lift down, cross under the river. Except it's not just pedestrians and bikes that take the lift here. This is good for cars too. Of course, the automobile wasn't common when this was built. Originally, horses and wagons would have been brought down in these lifts, uh, and construction was risky. While it was being built, the tunnel was kept pressurised and airlocked in order to keep the water out. But because decompression sickness, the bends, wasn't understood, hundreds of workers suffered from what was then called caissons disease, and three died. Like the Greenwich Tunnel, this is a useful commuter route. Uh, for cars, it's one way in the morning and the other way in the evening. And there are speed bumps, just in case someone sees a clear tunnel ahead of them and decides to, I don't know, break the underground speed record. Most road traffic goes elsewhere over other routes under or over the river, but there are still plenty of folks who regularly use this odd hundred-year-old tunnel and car lift as part of their everyday life. And yes, for everyone who's inevitably going to ask in the comments, of course I went to Miniature Wonderland while I was in Hamburg. It's absolutely brilliant. I did the behind the scenes tour, which is well worth the money. Uh, but there is nothing I could film there with my iPhone and GoPro that hasn't already been shot by people with much, much better cameras. So if you want to see what's in there, and it is incredible, I've put some links in the description.